In this video, we will guide you through the entire process of how to rent, how to create a rental for yourself, and how to equip the NFTs in-game. Once you have landed on the Big Time website, you will go directly to the Open Loop Marketplace on the navigation bar at the top. If you already have an account, log in. If you don't, you will need to create one before you continue. Rentals still need to be paid for, so you will need to deposit funds into your account. Go to your profile dropdown and click on Wallet, then Deposits. From there, you can have two options to choose from, either Crypto Deposits or Direct Credit Card Deposits. The Crypto Deposits supports USDC, ETH, BTC and MANA on various networks. The drop down from the marketplace selection will feature rentals and that's exactly where you need to go. You will be met with tons of NFTs from name tags to weapon skins and more. If you are looking for something more specific, simply click on the big time logo on the left and scroll down. There you will find tons of filters to find exactly what you are looking for. The main search filter is by category while the secondary search filters for tags allows you to find certain weapons, different seasons, workshop NFTs, and even specific color tags that you need to access certain prestige portals. Determining the rarity you are looking for is very important as the difference in how they perform in-game and their price can jump quite quickly between two different rarities. One more unique feature of the Big Time Rental Marketplace is collection rentals. For example, this collection rental listing features 10 items with two rares included and allows you to keep these items for 30 days for a price of $10, which is a lot cheaper than buying each one of them individually. We quite like this listing, so we'll go ahead and try to rent it. Once you click rent, now you will be taken to the payment section, which prompts you to input your creator code, as well as a rental discount coupon if you were given one by whoever listed the collection to rent it out at a cheaper price than what it is for others. Using your balance we have already loaded up previously, we are able to go through with the transaction and click pay now. Once the transaction is complete, you'll be taken automatically to the my collection screen, where at the top you will see rent. This will feature all the NFTs you have rented so far off of the open loop marketplace, as well as the price you rented them at, their rental renewal date, and how much you have left, and the ability to cancel the renewal before the due date. Congratulations, you have completed your first rental. Now, let's assume you are on the other end of the transaction, and you have bought a big time NFT and don't have enough time to play the game and would rather give it away to another player to enjoy. Well, go directly to your profile dropdown, go to My Collection, and you will see Rentals on the far right. Once you are there, you are able to see the listed NFTs you own and the ones you have rented out. If you wish to create a new one, click on the New Listing dropdown to choose from either a single listing or a bulk listing. In this example, we have chosen to create a single listing. Make sure you select Big Time as your game so you are able to see all the NFTs you own. Select whichever NFT you want to list. Click on Continue and the marketplace will take you to input the final details of your listing. You will need to enter the rental listing name, which could be anything of your choosing. Most people keep it identical to the item name. But be careful while navigating the marketplace as some listings might have different names to their actual content. The final screen you will need to complete is your set price, which is how much people will rent it at, and an optional discount code which you can give out to specific people to rent out your listing at a lower price than what is shown publicly, as we explained before. You can customise this code to apply a discount between 10 and 90% in multiples of 5. Now that you have filled out everything, you can list the rental and big time players will see it live on the marketplace. If you are not satisfied with your rental listing, you can go directly to My Collection and check your listed item and click on either the pen or the trash can to modify or delete the listing entirely. From My Collection, you will find in-game items and items to sell right next to each other. Go to items to sell and select which of the items you want to move in-game. Once you have decided on which one you want, at the bottom of the listing card, clicking the three dots will give you the option to move it into your in-game inventory. If you have any further questions or special cases, make sure you hop into the Big Time Discord as the community members can happily help you out and answer any questions you might still have. Looking forward to seeing you in-game. Until next time, happy gaming.